we have 5.0 times 10 to the 9 molecules per cubic meter. We want the pressure in pascals, which is uh, like a newton per meter cubed, or meter squared, sorry. Okay. This one's kind of a funky one. Uh, what I would start to think, ideally, so you want, want pressure, okay, so I got that, okay, I want pressure. The other thing you can think is, okay, molecules per meter cubed, what is that? It's, yeah, it's a something per volume. And you can, you are fantastic and say mole, you can convert the molecules to moles by Avogadro's number. So if I convert this, this is going to end up being, it's not yet, but I will in a second, a moles per volume. Okay, and let's see what else they give you. Mm -hmm. So now, of those givens, what do you think I would use? Kind of a weird one. We're going to use, it's going to be closest to the ideal gas law. Okay, so you have moles in volume, you would have R. Uh, the thing you don't have is T, but I think you're just going to assume room temperature. And I think that's what they did uh, when they did this one. I'll just double check the, what they assumed. So, we'll just assume the rain number, but like probably 25 degrees C or something like that. Assume 25 degrees C. So that's the only thing you're not given. You just have to kind of go with, okay, we're at room temperature, this is 25 degrees C. So, but we were so close to the ideal gas law because we have P, N, and V are all players in this. There's no other possible equation that you could use. It's not really the ideal gas law because things aren't changing. Yeah. When do you use room temperature and when do you um, you use room temperature if it if it sounds like it's an experiment that somebody's doing and they're not freezing. Okay. STP it usually has to be stated okay. as STP. And then what would you use if it was freezing? No, I'm saying like uh, STP is zero degrees C, so the person would be wearing like a parka okay. doing this because they would be freezing. It'd be you know, that's where water freezes, so it'd be cold, it'd be unusual for a laboratory to be at STP. It's just where values are tabulated, it's kind of a reference point. Okay, so I think the easiest way to do this is to convert uh, to the units of this. So remember that pressure is usually in atmospheres, volumes in liters. N's moles, T is in Kelvin. So I'm going to convert appropriately. This is 25 plus 273, or 298 Kelvin. The molecules per mole, I'm going to go 5.0 times 10 to the 9 molecules per meter cubed, and convert that 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd molecules per mole, that's Avogadro's number. And then I'm going to change the, uh, well, the meter cubed. 
I'm going to change the meter cube. Does anybody know what I'm going to do with it? Yeah, liters. How do you do that? One milliliter cubed is one milliliter. Okay. Is one centimeter cubed is yeah, one milliliter. Yeah, exactly. Right? Yes. So I'm going to change this to centimeters. A hundred centimeters per meter. And I'm going to cube that. So now it's centimeters cubed. And I know that there's... Uh, uh, for every centimeter cubed, there's one milliliter. Wait, don't you want the meters on top? Oh, yeah. That'd be fantastic. <laughs> yes. Okay. I think I straightened my life out. Is that okay? And I need it in liters, so... This converts this to moles on top and liters on bottom. Not molarity, because we're talking about gases, but it's moles per liter. So, pressure, if I rewrite it, is moles per volume. I'm going to put that together, because that's what this thing is. Times R times T. Moles per volume. That's that mess. R, same R as before, 0 0.08, 206, T is 298. This is going to give me a pressure in atmospheres, some amount of atmospheres. It's a number that you calculate. What you'll have to do to that number is change it. They want this in Pascals. So you need to look up, or I'll give it to you on the exam, one atmosphere is 101, 3, 2, 5 Pascals. Yeah? Um, the, the meters to uh, 10 centimeters conversion, do we have to know that? Or? Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. You got to know that there's 100 centimeters in a meter. I wouldn't give you that. Uh, and the liters, and then this is just pretty much standard. One milliliter is equivalent, equal to one centimeter cubed. Yeah. So we don't have to keep like cubing it after that one. We don't like how we cube the meters over 100 centimeters. We don't have to keep cubing it. There's over nothing and over else again. to cube. Okay. Because this is board cubed. Okay. Uh -huh. So that'd be it. Okay. Is that okay with you? Yeah.